Hey guys, this is Chris Ludwig bringing you the NSS Tip of the Week and I just want to talk a little bit about belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing. Now I know this might be a subject we've touched on quite a bit lately, but I just want to give you a little bit more information and how it may apply to you. Um, in the last couple weeks we have quite a few clients that have kind of asked about it and how it can benefit them and I just want to kind of pass that on to you. So first things first, how do we belly breathe? What's the kind of the technique behind it? So easy way to do it is let's get down on the floor. Two ways to do it so we know we're doing it right. Okay, we can get down on our back. Hands on our belly button. The key here is to make sure when we breathe in, the first thing to come up is our belly button. Okay, we don't want the chest to rise, we don't want our shoulders to rise. So we think big belly breath, pushing up the belly, letting that rib cage expand out, not necessarily up. Okay, that's one really easy way to do it. Hands over the belly button, make your belly button go up. Other way to do it is on the stomach. Okay, hands out in front. Same thing, belly button goes into the floor. Chest doesn't push into the floor too much. Shoulders don't rise when we breathe in. But we want to think rib cage expands, belly, belly button goes into the floor. Okay? After we talk about technique, how do we do it? Okay? Ten big breaths. 10 big breaths in, is get your belly button up as big as you can, up as much air as you can in through your belly, out nice and slow, 10 times. How often can we do it? Before workouts is awesome, kind of loosens everything up, gets you thinking about that belly breathing. After workout is great, okay, it gets everything kind of calmed down. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, kind of sets the tone for the rest of the day, or when we go to bed, kind of gets you relaxed before you go to bed. Now, how can this affect you? Uh, in the last few weeks, we've had a lot of clients kind of come in and say, well, my neck, my upper back is really tight. I've been really stressed lately. Um, we can help with that. Belly breathing, that diaphragmatic breathing, can help with that stress in the upper back and neck because a lot of times people are shallow breathing, okay? They're using their back. They're using their neck muscles to breathe in, okay? Those muscles aren't necessarily meant for that. So. If we can get them thinking more belly breathing, that a lot of times helps. And in the last few weeks, we've had multiple clients come in and say that, and we've give, given them this exercise regimen, if you will, and they've come back and said, it works wonders. Um, we've had other clients say, it helps them fall asleep at night, okay? They're restless, they can't go to sleep, but they know they need to. They'll hop into bed, try this, 10 breaths, and they're out. Okay. So, it can be very beneficial. So, something to consider for your own regimen. Hope you guys enjoy it.